Hello, this is Matt with 3G Store, and today we're going to be looking at the Peplink Max 700 load balancing router. Uh, this is a higher end enterprise grade router designed to balance between two WAN wide area network connections, uh, four USB 3G devices with 4G beta support for the Verizon LTE network uh, coming soon, and a Wi Fi as WAN connection for an alternative source. With all of these different connection options, this gives you an opportunity to balance between up to seven internet sources to provide a great deal of bandwidth for a large user base. Max 700 also offers seamless failover, which has zero packet loss. So if you're using uh, VoIP phone systems, PBXs, uh, doing mission critical activities on the computer where you can't have any downtime, you can literally fail over to a different connection with no interruption in your service. The Max 700 also has a DHCP server built in with a Wi-Fi access point, a four-port Ethernet switch, allowing you to switch and share seamlessly with multiple users. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, main dashboard of the Max 700. And this just gives you a quick reference to all of your active connections. You can see we have our Comcast cable as the primary, USB on standby. We're actually using a beta build with the UML 290 now doing some testing. If you want the details on here, you can click details and get more detailed information about the device there. Uh, it's indicating that it's in standby mode right now, which means it's active. And if the Comcast connection would go down, it would fail directly over to the 4G device. Again, you can also see the Wi-Fi WAN feature, uh, any information, your signal strength to that particular connection, and uh, a variety of settings there, as well as save profiles. And then this would be your second WAN connection. If uh, you had a multiple connection, like a DSL line to go with a cable line, and you can actually click on these and move the prior priority uh, based on which connection you want as highest or lowest. And you have your LAN interface there with the router IP, your Wi-Fi AP settings, as well as your device information. Uh, that'll indicate your current build of firmware as well as the system uptime and the CPU load that's on the router directly. As well as you can uh, follow along and you can see your current throughput on both your down and up links. So in all, the main dashboard just allows you a quick reference of all your active connections and if you need any specific details about any given connection. Uh, next, we're going to demonstrate all the different networking options that the Max 700 offers you.